I'll just give you a little background about my friend, Katerina, her name is. She lives in Greece, and I met her uh, probably be about six months now ago. And Katerina was one of the very few people I've ever met who got into an emotion, a causal emotion, within about uh, half an hour of a group. So what happened is we were having a group like this, there were about 30 people there, and halfway through the group she puts up her hand and says, does that mean I have to tell the truth about everything in my life? And my answer was, <coughs> yes. yes. And that's all I said. And you know what she did? She started bawling there and then. She got up, went downstairs into one of the rooms downstairs over there, and we could all hear her for the next hour and a half sobbing <laughs> her heart out. And she cried for an hour and a half downstairs. That's, she's the first person I've ever seen do that. That was the first time I ever met her, by the way. That's the first time I ever met her. So she's quite a special person, actually. Now, I'll give you a bit of background about Katerina. Her father was a policeman in the police force in Greece, and he was a very, very violently abusive man, and still is, in fact, a very violently abusive man. He would come home from work, rape his wife, and beat up his children almost every night. Right? So he'd rape his wife, beat her, and then rape uh, or beat the children. And by the time Katerina was five, you can imagine like the emotions that she had within her. Her mother's had 35 abortions. Because they were a Greek Orthodox family and they didn't believe in contraception. And so her mother went to a doctor to get aborted 35 times. So you imagine the condition that she's living in, this, this lady, my friend. And she's got... Uh, a lot of emotions about religion as well. She was brought up in the in a or Greek Orthodox faith, as I stated. When she was fourteen, she got her first period, and she was she was told she couldn't have holy communion. In Greek, in Greece, if a woman has her period, she can't have communion. So, what is that teaching you, as a woman? Yeah. When she was seven years of age, her father locked her in jail overnight for a whole night by herself. And she thought she was going to be left there for good. She was seven years of age. He did it to punish her. Um, and he left her there. He went home, left her there overnight in jail, seven years old. There's so many things that he, he, he's done, right? And, and mum too. Her, her mum left her husband only when he cheated on her. So in other words, she put up with all of this abuse of treatment and rapes and so forth until he cheated on her and then she left. She watched her children getting beaten almost every day, right? And didn't leave. And only left when he cheated on her. What does that tell you? Can you see how much she didn't want to take any responsibility for anything that was happening? Right? So this is, what, this is what my friend Katerina grew up with. So Katerina rang me last week, in fact, uh, and we were talking on the phone, and she says, my 14-year-old son keeps telling me that the divine love stuff's all just fucking shit. <laughs> it's all just shit. Stop talking about it, Mum. Right? And she said, I don't know why he keeps saying this to me all the time. Why does he keep saying this to me all the time? How can I change his mind? And I said to her, it's not his mind you need to change. It's your emotions. What do you really feel about God? And so what we did then is we had a long discussion <coughs> about what her true feelings about God were. So she's been longing for divine love, and she's received quite a lot of divine love already. But she wasn't facing many of the emotions she felt towards God. And so we started just, over the phone, just listing off these different emotions that she felt towards God. And here's some of the ones that we wrote down together. 
God has not protected me, has not kept me safe even when I prayed with all my heart for the hurt to stop. God watched me be abused and did nothing. God hasn't loved me and doesn't care for me. If I say a bad thing about God, he will punish me. God doesn't want me. God plays with my life and I'm just a pawn for him to move wherever he wants. God is a man and just lets me, men use me for sex and lets men treat me as nothing. God doesn't love women and God feels women are sexually unclean. God feels women are unworthy and must submit to men. Women are the ones that really hurt. Even when creating life, men just enjoy themselves and women really hurt. God made women to suffer, even in creation, and made men more physically powerful. God made men dominate me. God is a man and women are forgotten. So these are all of her feelings about God. Notice how the gender relates to... Can you see what's going on? The gender relates to the primary her. You see that? Uh, God is, has both masculine and feminine qualities though. So, so while God is neither a male or female, God does have masculine and feminine qualities. So you will find if you have an injury with your mother, you will not be able to connect to the feminine side of God. Or if you have an injury with your father, you will not be able to connect with the masculine side of God. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. And can you see how we term God when we have certain injuries? You can see how I've been terming it? Or in my injuries? Mostly as a feminine God. Right? In other words, it's the feminine side of God that I have the majority of my injury with, my pain with, right? In the case of the lady, Katerina, her injury is with the masculine side of God. And so her son was saying to her that it's all just shit, you know, all this dealing with divine love is all shit. And the reason why she's saying that is because there's a feeling inside of Katerina that it's all shit. There's a feeling inside of Katerina that, well, I can't trust God. What am I talking about? What am I doing? Asking God for love when really, how am I feeling about God? I'm feeling shut down. I'm feeling like really angry and upset and I'm feeling all these different things about God. And so her son was just perfectly reflecting at her what she was actually feeling inside of herself. Can you see that? 